Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are back again with a build battle. It has been so long since I've hosted one of these, but my internet was kind of garbage, so hopefully we don't crash today. But uh, without any further ado, today's theme is a plain PvP battle. There is very minimal restric restrictions, only... Very nice, Memium. Uh, there's very minimal restrictions, only no TNT armor and no shredders. Other than that, people can use whatever they want. And uh, as we can see, Memium's already got something set up, so it's going to be a good one. I'm excited to see what people pull out, and I really hope Memium sticks with this, because this will be amazing. Ah, yeah, it flies. He'll be good. All right, we pulled out the Potato Drift Car. Take a look at all of our lovely competitors today. So first up, we have 55 Titan, Max Rez, LSF Department, Memium, Sir Yeedy Boy, Pokemon J101024, Nick the Gamer 542, Ada 7, and last but not least, Fat Boy is my mom. So yeah, this is looking to be quite a few people that we've actually seen appear in multiple build battles. So this, I think this is going to be a good one. It's going to be a return of uh, the old members, and I cannot stand driving this thing. Get this thing out of here. This, that's an abomination. But uh, I'm excited to see what everybody pulls out since there really is no limitations. And I was thinking. You know, to, to kind of commemorate there being another build battle after so long, I was thinking, maybe I should join in. I, I don't know, I might join in. I might join in. I am curious to see what everybody is going to be doing for their planes. We're seeing a lot of different designs. Uh, if I do end up building my own, I'm going to make something really small and really quick. But we'll see how that would turn out. Looks like we got a lot of different designs coming together here. Most of them are looking like jets, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna make my own plane and uh, see if I can get something set up here, cause I, I want to participate in some PvP. It's been a while, man. It's been a little while since I've actually done one of these and like actually participated in it. So you can you can feel the pressure in the air. It it's a lot different when um, I'm just kind of like flying around watching everybody else build and I don't have to worry about anything. Then as to where I actually have to actively make something happen here so it's always exciting i'm just always scared that i'm gonna mess something up and then i'm gonna well i don't think i've ever won a single one of my own build battles so i don't know what i'm worried about i can't embarrass myself if i've never actually won anyways but i do want to get a win that would be kind of awesome to win at my own competition i guess all right let's do a quick test with all these hover thrusters and just make sure that this is gonna work for me I'm looking for a lot of speed. That'll be a lot of speed. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit ridiculous, but I'm sure we can control it. Okay, I believe I'm setting this up correctly. Um, I just want to take a quick peek, make sure I'm doing everything right. Yes, this should be fine. Uh, I'm going to need to touch up this part here, but overall things are looking good. Starting to get nervous looking at all the other planes going around. It's going to be a little bit sketchy, but I'm sure we can pull off a win here, possibly. I haven't even added guns yet. Oh shoot, I haven't even added weapons yet. I need to get on that. And we're seeing some completed planes already. I am amazed. I haven't even got like nothing done. I, <laughs> I've been putting out time so people know how much time is left and just trying to slap things together and this is how far I've gotten. It's coming together just very slowly. Quick check. Let's see, make sure that we're still going very fast. How fast are we going? Oh, we can pick up a decent amount of speed, so that's a good thing. And we can turn very quick, so that's also very good. I am nowhere near as fast as everybody else, so that will be a downside for me. But at least I can turn quick, so that, that, that might help me a little bit. Alright, so we put backwards rockets in as well. So now if we're being chased, I can fire rockets backwards without having to like try to turn around because we can just have rockets going out both ways and that seems pretty smart because again I'm not the fastest one here so I'll probably be getting chased a lot and uh, it'll at least give me some sort of cover fire that will be very 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 greatly appreciated all right hopefully I've got enough speed here I think that's the one thing that I'm really gonna lose out on is just the overall speed factor I'm gonna be pretty much a sitting duck for most of this but uh, let's go see if we can take a quick look at everybody else's builds who haven't put them away for right now. Yeah, they, they've all got really sleek and speedy things, so it's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, 
Am I going to be able to catch up to the most of them? Probably not. Um, I'll either hope that they kill each other or try to figure something out, I guess. It's going to be... It's going to be an interesting one. All right. We're looking very orange. We can turn very fast. It's going to be a hard-fought battle when we get out there. I'm excited to see everybody else's build. Um, because we're all so fast, we are enacting a rule. If you smash into the ground, then uh, you'll be called out. So that's another thing I'm going to be careful of. Also, running into that is going to be kind of something that's probably not a good thing. Actually, I might hang out near here because I'm slow, but I've got a lot of control for the most part. So if I kind of hang out near the propeller blades, if anybody comes for me, I can just see if I can run them into it. That could be a good strategy. I don't know. But I think I will be seeing you guys when the battle begins. So, I'm excited. Alright, and everybody is off. Let me get my landing gear up. I'm going to turn on... Oh, well, that... Okay, there goes my entire plan that I was working on. Never mind, I pressed the wrong button and that's what happens when you press the wrong button. Let's see if I can go find somebody. Uh, Red is looking mighty fine right now. Oh my god, there's bullets everywhere. I'm just spitting bullets out. I have no control over it. Okay, you know what? Light blue is looking mighty fine if I can just get up there properly. Uh, people are so fast. And I don't want to, like, crash into them. <laughs> the stupid. I, okay, basically what that was supposed to be is just a distraction, and I don't know why I made it at this point, but you know what, it's fine. Uh, let's see if I can actually hit somebody. There, people are going around so quick that honestly, I don't even know if anybody's going to die. I mean, I probably will. Oh, I've already got holes in my wing. Yeah, I'll probably be the first one to die. Ooh, just had a small collision with black there. That's fine, this is okay. This is totally fine. I'm missing so many parts, or well, I'm... <sighs> That was a huge barrage of rockets that just missed me by like an inch. I need to keep moving. Why am I not moving? I should really keep moving and not kind of hang out here for too long. Alright, looks like me and Black are in an aerial dogfight here. Trying to get any sort of semblance of a hit. Because it is extremely difficult. It is so close too. That's the crazy thing. See, I think I really should have improved my uh, controls a little bit better. Because any small tap that I make feels like I just smashed the button to move and it's so hard to control. Okay, just ran into gray there. Ow, thank you for that. Oh, it looks like we lost one person. I see somebody's build being built over there, so it looks like somebody has fallen to the sky. Don't know who that is yet. I'll see if I can get confirmation, but it looks like we got one down so far. But for the most part, from what I've seen of the other people, I'm not seeing a whole lot of damage on them either. So it might just be kind of good all around right now. I really want to get purple. I think purple might be the only person that I might be able to actually attack here. I'm not sure. It, it's so hard to control my plane. I, okay, you know what? Honestly, I think I should have gone with a glitch camera because it might have been a bit easier for me to control overall. This thing just turns way too fast. And I, di I need fast turning, but like I've got ridiculous fast turning. Oh, don't touch the ground, don't touch the ground, don't touch- No, oh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I hit the ground, okay. Let's kill, reset character, and kaboom, there goes my plane. Okay, so I'm out, there's a few other people out. I'm, I'm not sure how many are still alive, it looks like a lot of them. A lot of people are still up in the air. We are back in the camera, looking around, it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six people left, I think? I think six people out. I or, No, don't shoot missiles at me! Why do people shoot missiles at me? I'm just a simple cameraman. I was a competitor a second ago, but now I am not. How many people do we got? One, two, three, four... There's just too many to count, honestly. It, it, it's kind of hard to count. <laughs> oh! Oh, looks we got our first casualty from the blades! I think that was yellow tips, like had the yellow wing tips. They are out now. This is why we bring it down towards the floating island because that is how you get rid of people even if they got ridiculously fast planes all right we're going to lower the altitude to around 800 600 is about where the propellers sit so we'll see how this goes black's got the right idea of keeping under the island instead of above it because above it is kind of deadly but we'll see how this turns out blue and black i think are some of the best looking and probably the best working planes we got here Purple, I don't know how they're still alive. They've been slowing down and speeding up constantly while being chased. 
So that's been pretty interesting. And Gray? Where is Gray going? Oh, they're coming back now. Okay. We've lowered the speed now to 300. I don't know if this is going to do a lot for them. Purple, don't do it. Purple, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't push me into the blades. I am merely a cameraman trying to record here. You go back to participating. All right, I'm not seeing gray anywhere. It looks like it's just purple, black, and blue that are the only ones left. And purple's just kind of chilling. He's really not doing a whole lot. It's mostly a battle between black and blue. Purple, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy, okay? We're, we're trying to film a battle here. You know what? I'm going to see if I can get this guy put into the blades. You know what? We're going to do a little bit of interference here. You want to go to the blades? I'll take you to the blades. You want to go... Whoa! Okay, I thought blue ended up in the blades there for a second. Purple, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying to record here. Oh! Oh, no! Purple just got, like, I think one of his back parts blown off by blue. That's what you get for messing around. Black and blue now fighting it out. Purple just getting into the mix there just a little bit. Black, don't shoot at me. You're going to get rocked here in a second by blue. There's a miss. Okay. If there was any chance to hit black there, blue had that opportunity right there and just could not capitalize on it. There's a mech now. I don't know what he's doing. And where's purple? Purple's just... Purple's just chilling, dude. Like, I... <laughs> Purple's not even, like, really participating in this. He's just kind of hanging out. Man, it's just... I'm just making it harder and harder for them to try to fight this out because, like, they have to slow down so much, be so careful of the island, and out. Thank you. I'm trying to just... <laughs> trying to get out of the way so I can keep low and still see the whole battle unfolding. Purple's back in the action. That's a good thing to see. We're seeing rockets ricochet off the island. And... A lot of circling. Ooh, a crash! Oh, black almost crashed into the ground there. That was close. Blue and black still fighting it out. I thought we're going to see rockets connect here eventually. I just don't know when it's going to happen. Oh, no. Blue just went through a blade. Blue is down. Okay, so we have black and purple left. They're the only survivors. Blue is out, so we got two left. Just as I was making the comment about blue running through a blade, purple ran through one as well. So it looks like Black is our last survivor. Let's go see our glorious winner here. Who do we have for my messed up camera view? It is Fat Boy is my mom. He is our last survivor for that battle. That was a close one. I wasn't sure if there was going to be any contact of missiles or if it was going to end up with the blades or crashing. And in this instance, the island is the one who kills. He, he took out two of the finalists, I guess. So there we go guys, that was a very entertaining battle. I haven't participated in these in a while, and I haven't actually hosted one in a while, but this one was a lot of fun. Unfortunately for Blue and Purple, they were both taken out by the, uh, the propeller blades, but again, since this was No Limits, it got really difficult because everybody was going like a thousand miles an hour, and it's just so hard to hit people when they're going that fast. So that's why I have to put the restrictions on and make things so close together to actually make something happen and to uh, get a winner at the end. So I believe it was black in first, purple in second, blue in third, and I'm pretty sure I was like the second person who died. So I didn't do very well that time. All right, well, there we go, guys. That is really all I've got for this build battle. It's been a little while since I've done these, uh, mostly because my internet was dying. Is that mech doing the splits? He is. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna hopefully get back to doing some more of these in the future with a little bit more restrictions on it so that not everybody is flying around at Mach 10, but yeah. So anyways guys, thanks again for watching this video, and hey, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out guys. Bye!